Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I built this French cleat picture wall on Dad It Yourself. So here is my current office. I have a glass and metal desk in the corner. My computer, screens, some of my memorabilia up here. And it's pretty comfortable. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, it is right inside my front door. And when this door opens, cold air comes in, warm air goes out. So every time I'm in here, it is cold. This was supposed to be temporary. My original office was upstairs and it became my grandkids' rooms while they were staying with us for a little while. It is now the guest room. And so here is the old guest room, which I've been kind of using for 3D printing. There's my Cricut stencil cutter storage over here and then some storage in this closet here so the idea is this here is going to become my new work wall and then it'll kind of expand over to here so I'm going to build some French cleat systems on this wall and then build a desk to hang on it and if you haven't checked out my how stronger French cleat videos uh, I'll put a link up in here and you can take a look at that. So some of you may ask, hey, why not just reuse this desk up here? Uh, a couple of reasons. One, it's black glass. Uh, if you didn't know, optical mouse does not work on glass. And it's hard to see, but it really shows the dust. And I wipe this thing off continuously when I'm sitting here just to keep it ahead of it. And if you get back in here, it gets even worse. So. My new desk is going to have a wood top and it's going to have some cable management so I'm not dealing with all this stuff and then hopefully give me some more room on the right hand side for this and then I'll probably build a separate printer stand which will also incorporate some file cabinet storage and such like that. Uh, the lighting uh, probably will not go with the LEDs up there. I just don't like the white light. I'm more of a soft yellow guy around the desk. So I'll have to incorporate some lighting up there as well. And then I think a lot of this stuff will get hung on the walls. And then my coins will probably nest into those French cleats really nice for display. We'll have to see how I work that in. So I have my table saw all set up. I have my Husky adjustable table. Out here is my outfeed. That table's six feet long, and the stock I'm gonna be cutting is eight, so I should have plenty of room between the end of the table and the cabinet as well. I've got my blade set to 45. I've already set my fence so that I cut to the halfway. And this piece right there, that's gonna help me just keep the board down because it's so long and then this will just help me align the board as I come into the blade. As you notice, I don't go all the way past the blade, so I shouldn't get any binding there. And I have, right here, six eight-foot uh, one by eight radiatus, and I'm gonna cut those in half, and those will be my cleats. Let's get going. Alright, so these boards need to be sanded because they're going to be a natural finish. Um, when you buy this select pine from Home Depot, it comes with these awesome labels and those are going to have to come off before I sand. So the quickest way to get those off 
hit them with a little heat gun, and they come right off. So after ripping these boards, I ended up with six eight footers that are about three and a half, almost four, about yeah, three and a half inches tall. Um, I really only need to sand the the show side. Doesn't matter what's up against the wall, and knock off the sharp edges. I've got my surf prep sander in here with 120 on there, and I'm just going to give those a run over and get those cleaned up. So those sanded down really nice. Let's go get them installed upstairs in the office. All right, so I got the wood up here and my tools and I've got a blank wall here, but the first thing I need to do is find the studs in this wall. Hopefully they're 16 inch on center because this house was built in 2013 and that's pretty standard back then. So I marked all the studs and then I've got these two pieces of tape up here and I carried those lines vertically using a four foot level. Um, this tape up here is just randomly placed. Uh, it doesn't really matter where it is, but this one down here, this one's important. Um, it may not look level to you, but it is level and it is 27 and a half inches off the floor. And what that does is, if I put the top of the cleat on the bottom edge of that piece of tape right along that line, once I build the desktop up, it'll sit between 29 and 30 inches off the floor, which is a comfortable height for a desk. It is exactly the same height as my current desk and the desk I had before that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that first cleat in right along that piece of tape level, and then there'll be one below it about 12 inches and then the rest of the cleats will be 12 inches up until I get to the top. Even if it's like just an inch or so from the top of the ceiling, that's good because I can still hang stuff down from it. So let's get that first cleat hung. All is nine feet across and these boards are eight feet. Uh, didn't feel like getting tents and cutting them down. Uh, lumber prices and availability. So I'm gonna put them six inches off the corner on this wall and six inches off on the other end. Uh, the problem I have here is it's 11 inches to the first stud on this end and only 4 inches on that. So the screw holes won't be as symmetrical, but I think I'll get over that. So I'm going to use a 3 inch deck screw with a T20 head on it. Uh, this is long. This is really probably a little bit too long. Uh, it's what I have. Uh, a 2.5 would be good. A 2 inch would probably be too short. So this is actually a little bit of overkill and it will give me the holding power that I'm looking for. It's got the small head, which is nice. Uh, I've already marked out my spots. They're an inch from the top and the bottom, and this one is, you know, 11 inches plus six from the wall, but 11 inches from the end of the board. So I'm gonna hang this one here first. I'm gonna go to the other end of the board and level the board, and then I'll go ahead and mark the rest of the screws and get this board hung up. So to help with spacing, I've got these two pieces of scrap MDF. They're cut to 12 inches long. I'm just going to 
going to set them right on the ends. Get back, grab my next board, put it up there, line up the ends, mark the studs, screw this one in. So I gotta put this last cleat up right here. And it's gotta be 12 inches down from what would be the desk height cleat. And that's to provide a landing spot for the outriggers and such on the desk. And I got super fortunate that the bottom of these two outlets is actually 12 inches down. Not planned, just luck. So I'll go ahead and put this last one up, even with the bottom of these two outlet plugs. A little hand sanding gets rid of those pencil marks and cleans up the screw holes and this will be ready for some clear coat. Hey will you check this out? All done. Got all the, at least that's a nice distance from the top too. That's not too bad. And like I said in the previous clip, uh, got super lucky down there. I've sanded everything down again, made sure there's no any rough spots or pencil marks. And I'm gonna put a clear coat on this, one, maybe two coats. We'll have to see how it looks after the first coat and then go from there. Let's get started on that. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this with Varathane's water-based poly. Uh, give it a couple of coats, sanding in between, and that should give it some protection to last a while. So while I was waiting for the poly to dry, I came down to the shop and I made these little cleat cuts. These are about an inch and a half long and I have a half inch face. And I just drove a little picture nail into them. And I can use these to hang pictures on the cleat. And then I made this larger one for one of my larger friends. That poly should be dry. Let's go upstairs and try this out. So in the case of something heavy and fragile like my Navy Cutlass, I actually went and screwed the cleat right to the back of it, and I didn't use any glue, so if I have to take it off in the future, I can just unscrew it. So in a situation where maybe I want to raise this up a little, as I do, just get a bigger cleat. So this was a one-day project. My wife had already painted the wall, and it was just the lumber for the French cleats that I had to mill up and hang on the wall. This is a great project, provides a lot of flexibility. As I was hanging these pictures, they were getting moved left and right and up and down, and the awesome part is, nothing's permanent. I can unscrew these from the wall when I decide to move out of this house, and everything will be good to go. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and if you do hit the bell for notification stay tuned for part two where i build the french cleat desk for this awesome office renovation i've got some videos over here you may be interested in subscribe buttons right there thanks for watching daddy yourself